Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's Tuesday, April... It's Tuesday, April 9th. Uh, we did a 34-hour restart. We're on a five-stop frozen load going to Boise, Idaho, Garden City, Idaho, Meridian, Idaho, and then two stops in Napa, Idaho, and then we'll be back tonight to hopefully get something else to keep us rolling. I missed the video on Friday. We were running really hard, doing a lot of miles, so I wasn't able to get one out, but we'll see you soon. All right, so we're here at our first stop today over here at Boise, Idaho. We're going to back in, I believe, into door number two here. So, and here he comes. I don't know whether he's gonna set up for, we have room for a straight line, but he's been wanting to work on his angle backs because don't have a lot of stores that you have to angle back. And this is one also you don't have to really angle back in. So we'll see how he sets it up. What, how he feels and what, how he wants to do it. And again, we're out here to basically be his guide, make sure he's not gonna hit nothing. And then for him to ask questions. He's coming on his back, he's coming along pretty, really good. And as usual, he's only been driving for about three, nine, three weeks, a over three weeks, so he still needs some work on it. But as you can see here, he has a pretty good handle on the maneuverability of the, tr of our, of the truck and trailer. With this type of back. Um, his angle backs needs a little bit more work. Oh, no, now he just he kind of too much steering wheel movement. Too much. 
but he has the room. He needs to get underneath it. That he noticed. Now he needs to straighten up his wheels. There we go. And win. So he did a pretty good job there. He did a little bit more snaking than what he needed to do. But he got it in the hole. He didn't hit nothing. And we're going to head inside and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, we got done with the Boise store and we got back in, got unloaded. We had to walk all the way around the store because it made too much sense for them to actually open up the door for us to let us in. So it took a little longer than what it probably should have. But we got unloaded. We dropped six pallets of frozen. Now we're at the Garden City uh, Idaho store. And we're getting ready to back in. I believe he's going to go for door number two. So we're going to go ahead and watch him set up. And basically, again, we're here to make sure he doesn't hit, hopefully make sure he doesn't hit nothing. And to offer him some advice if he asks. Otherwise, it, because this is week three, especially because this is week three, I want him to start making his own mistakes. And want him to start learning from them without me correcting them. The first few weeks, I kind of was, was standing out here and not helping him that much. But I would still, every now and then, throw in a pointer. Now I'm not saying anything. He got himself a pretty good setup. Now all he does is guide to follow this yellow line. He's coming along really good for three weeks in. I think he's doing. I think he's doing mighty good. He's gonna, he's gonna be a good asset for Swift. Hopefully they he gets treated right the way he, the way he wants to be treated. And he gets the miles that he wants to he wants to get, and he stays here for a while because he's gonna make a really good driver. He, one thing he's struggling with, and we talked about this after the last door, because all this last minute snaking like this, which he did not have to do, is he, he is having a little issue with uh, following the dock down when, it's, when it goes down the way it did. So now he's going to pull up when he never should have had to. But the one thing, the way I've taught him and I've told him is I, we don't care about getting into the hole straight. We care about getting into the hole without hitting anything. We can always straighten up once we're in the hole. So, and I use that philosophy with him whether there's trucks and trailers beside him or not. Because I don't care if we're in that hole straight as long as we don't hit nothing. It's easy to straighten up your truck and trailer. It's really easy to straighten up your truck and trailer once you get backed into the hole that you want to get backed into. So, yes. It's nice to be able to get in straight and get in the hole of the first shot. But I've been driving 20 years and I have plenty, there's plenty of times I'm in, I back into a hole and then I have to pull up and straighten up. There's other times I get in on the first shot too. It's just kind of hit and miss out here. No one's perfect. No one does it perfect the first time, every time. So that's what we're doing. But as you see, he's getting better. He's doing good. He's progressing really good. So we're gonna go ahead and get off here. We're gonna get these five pallets delivered here. And then we're gonna head on over to Meridian.
Hello everyone. Well, we're at our third stop over here in Meridian, Idaho at the Walmart. And uh, as you can see, uh, the four docks, the only dock they have open is going to be this one right here. So we're going to see how he decides to try and back in, whether he try, sets up for a straight line, which is plenty of room to set up for a straight line, or whether he tries to do it as an angle. So let's see what he does here. Let's see what decisions he makes. So now if it was me, I would set up for a straight line, but I would set up by coming beyond the hole and then straighten it up. Like that's what he's doing, he should. Driving by, they see a truck trying to back in, and they want to just drive up. It doesn't matter. Let's see how he does. So there we go. We're gonna stand over here and pass. So he he got got to this position, and then he jumped out to take a good look. And trying to figure out which way to turn his steering wheel. He should be turning it all the way to the right instead of having it straight like that. So I'm not sure what he's doing. But we're gonna see. We're gonna stand right over here. So we can get a good idea at the hole. Direct traffic, so see if we can get a good look at this. So he should have his wheels turned all the way to the left, and he should be trying to get back up underneath it at this point. Oh, he's, gonna, he's deciding he's going to try and pull forward. There's another way to do it. He's just put himself in the same boat he was just in a second ago. Like this way. Once he gets back there, we'll, we'll watch his blind side for him because we're not going to let him back into anything. But we are wanting him to make his own decisions. Even if it takes a little bit extra to get into the dock, this is when he needs to learn when he has someone here to help him. Glance over this way a little bit. So I want you guys to watch this video. Remember, it doesn't matter if he pulls forward 20 times, 100 times, or none what matters is that we get into the hole without hitting anything and we get in there safely now, i know when you guys for the newer drivers who do uh see the, the, the cdl test they only let you pull up three times or whatever and then they're going to fail you but it, do, it doesn't matter how many times you pull forward He's making this a little bit more difficult on him, on him, to, on himself than he has to. But it's, all, it's the only way he's going to learn. If I keep, if, if I step in here, and I tell him what to do each time, he's not really going to learn. He's doing a good job. And I say he's made it a little more difficult than what it needed to be, but he's still getting in there. He's not hitting anything. 
And the uh, really impressive part, and this is something that all new drivers need to uh, hopefully learn and get taught, is don't take this stuff personal. Don't let it frustrate you. And when you got cars and other vehicles around, make sure you don't let that frustrate you or force you to hurry up. Take your time and get in. So like he's off a little bit. What he should be doing instead is he should just go ahead and back all the way the rest of the way in and then pull forward and snake over just a little bit. But we'll see what he decides. Now he could do it from there. The advantage of going all the way back into the hole though would be he wouldn't be out as far. And he didn't turn back to the right, so he's literally put himself almost in the same position he was in before. If you're going to snake your treaders over, guys, you got to go hard one way, then you have to go back hard the other way, and then you got to straighten up. made it to this is gonna be our fourth delivery it's gonna be the first store at Napa I know I had a little couple issues coming into the store um, came in the wrong side my fault I told him to come in the wrong side and uh, it was really a little tight but here we are so he's gonna back into the door right next to that Walmart trailer that you see. I don't know if he's gonna do an angle back or a straight line. And I said he's he has the straight lines down pretty good. Angle back's the one he needs to work on, but he's driving so I'm letting him decide. And I have no clue what he's doing at this point. got underneath it just a little bit too soon but it's still fixable he has a tendency to do this he doesn't go far enough back before he starts going forward I mean this is okay it's not gonna hurt nothing but what it does is it, it requires you to go backwards even farther than what you would have to but we're in there Easy peasy. Huh? We were. He's gonna be pulling up again. There 
try and check this driver's side. He would just turn his wheels all the way to the left, he'd have been fine. And stop number four. One more to go and then we get to head back. So we're at the last store in Napa. And we kind of went in the wrong way. Because there's a little bit of a pickle. But he's doing a good job. getting it back in. So I had him turn in here because uh, I wasn't thinking, I didn't see the no truck sign. My fault. I keep coming. Uh, I, so normally you would come in, you'd come in around the backside there and you'd come up. We turned this so way to do a hard, a hard turn. And then get back, get back, get backed up into there, so. Because of that hard turn, it put us in a tight spot. Now I know why that they want us, they want us to go around the back side of the building to get in, but that's okay. Go. We're looking good. We're looking good. Hey! Don't rush just because they're into that car. You take your time. So, I initially put him in a really, really bad spot. And he's doing a real good job of getting, getting this in there. This is a real good test to his, uh, his abilities. Pull forward just a little bit. Right there, right there. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, well, he's gonna come all the way forward. He would have stopped when I was saying stop. Then he could have just got back up underneath the trailer and pushed it right into the spot. Versus coming all the way up here and then having to jackknife it again. But he's learning. He needs to get underneath it. underneath it way too late way too late I'm gonna have to go back over with them small corrections instead of these big swings that he's doing with the steer tires. Instead of snaking it, you need these little smaller corrections, smaller movements. But he's got he's got it in there. He didn't he didn't hit nothing. He didn't let the cars that were waiting aggravate him. 
or force him into doing anything he shouldn't do. He, he didn't let them force him into going faster than what he should go. Still struggling on when to get back up underneath the trailer. Um, you know, we're gonna have to go over that a little bit more. got her in there so we're gonna go ahead and click this off go get the go drop these four pallets off here and we're gonna get headed back to Corinth see you in a little bit all right everyone well as you can see it's morning we decided not to drive all the way back to the yard last night as we didn't have a pre-plan so what we did was we stopped about an hour from the yard at a rest area and took a nap went to bed out this morning and we drove on in dropped our trailer sent our empty call and then we got a pre-plan now uh, it's going to go to Payson, Utah, Hurricane, Utah, Washington, Utah, St. George, Utah, but it's not ready, so we drove over here to the Loves in Brigham City. We took our showers, and then we're getting ready to eat some breakfast and get ready for when the, when they let us know that the road's, the road, the load is ready to go. So, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate everyone for taking the time watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe down below. It's uh, very much appreciated. And don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up.